Hey guys, I'm Elena Scantlin, and today I have your answers about yoga. We asked you to send in your yoga questions to our resident BFIT yogis, Sadie Nardini and Rainbow Mars, and now we have your answers, so get down on that mat. Just kidding. All you yogis and yoga beginners, stick around to learn yoga poses, find out about hot yoga, and get tips on alleviating back pain. Sarah asked, what would be the most essential poses for a beginner to know? Great question, Sarah. Now here's what Sadie told us. Hi, I'm Sadie Nardini, and here are some of the most essential poses I think any yoga beginner should know. First of all, mountain pose, definitely. If you can learn to stand in optimal alignment, you'll understand how your spine curves and how your alignment fits you best so you can take that spinal alignment into all of your other yoga poses and you'll know when you're off and when you're on. So master that one and you've got the whole practice covered. Now, the warrior poses are amazing to learn. Warrior one, two, three, and even the lunge, those are basically the stances that we use when we're on the feet in yoga. I want you to learn a great abdominal posture like Navasana boat pose, so you can learn to tone the core and keep that spine long. And last, Shavasana, the final resting pose. If you can just let the mind release a little bit, go play and rest out as your body cools into amazing alignment, you've got this practice covered from beginning to end. Hope that answered your question. See you soon. Namaste. Sadie makes it look so easy. You know, I have to say though, the Shavasana pose, I have that down pat. Now, this is something that I've always wondered, so thanks for asking, Tasha. Is yoga in a hot room better than regular yoga? And what's the difference? We got the lowdown from Rainbow, and this is what she had to say. A really common question I hear is, is it better to do yoga in a hot room? It is true that there's certain places in the world, India for instance, that it's so warm that you can relax more and feel more flexible. So often we turn the heat up in a room so that we can relax and start to engage in our body immediately. The contraindication or something that we need to be careful of is that sometimes we're so warm that we think that we're more flexible than we actually are and you can actually hyperextend. The floor is straight, so you don't want to go beyond straight and hurt your knees, your back, your neck. So you might want to practice in a warm room sometimes, but also make sure you're practicing alignment. Always practice safety before practicing hard. Yoga should be good for you today, but even better if it's good for you tomorrow, next week, next year, and 20 years from now. So practice alignment, practice safe, and you can practice in a warm room, but it's not necessarily better. Terrific advice, Rainbow. Now, while we're on the topic of safety, Sabrina asked us for tips on alleviating back pain. Now here's Rainbow and her thoughts on how you can overcome that pain, Sabrina. So I wanna first talk about standing. So it's not just when we get on our mat that we can stand in correct alignment, but it's all day long when we're walking. Often I see people standing like this and they tell me they have back pain and I can actually, you can see that they're sometimes crunching up from just the over squeezing of their butt. So if you can just stand heel to second toe, whether, especially if your back is in pain, you wanna bring your feet so that they're right underneath your hips. You can also practice bending your knees and releasing all of that down so that you just kind of can release the congestion in the back. At the same time, you wanna do twists. The spine can get really locked up if you're um, you know, at a desk all day long. So we'll do a twist in a second. But first, the other important thing is, are your shoulders coming forward? Are you at a desk job? Draw your shoulders up, back, and down I sometimes interlace my fingers to increase that. And just make sure that you're standing equal. Then the next one is to do a little, some twists. So maybe just gentle on the floor, twist in one direction, and make sure that if there's any pain along the spine that you breathe into it and you create some breath into where it feels stuck, but you gotta move it. If you just continue to not move the spine, it might continue to hurt. So what is in the way is our way. Address pain by breathing into it and learning how to heal your body from the inside out. And we could actually heal the pain by doing the yoga, so I encourage you to get on the mat. Now it's time for my yoga roundup. Essential beginner yoga poses to learn are mountain pose, warrior one, two, and three poses, navasana boat pose, and my favorite, shavasana pose. 
Hot yoga can make you more relaxed and flexible, but be careful not to overdo it. Practice safe yoga and listen to your body. And if your body is telling you that it's in pain, then try correcting your posture. Stretch well and often so you can continue to master the art of yoga. Thanks for all your questions, YouTubers. Be sure to keep sending them in. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the BeFit channel so we can keep you in shape. I'm Elena Scantlin. See you next week for another episode of You Asked For It.